some ichthyosaur paddle bones preserved in iron pyrite Well, it's a really wet and windy day here at Lyme Regis. Let's walk on to the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide and see what I can find. There's no one else out today. The 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. The weather is a disaster. It must have put a lot of people off. And down here, in amongst the iron pyrite, the fool's gold on the beach. Can you spot the fossil? Can you see a fossil that I have spotted in amongst the sea glass? There's one preserved in iron pyrite, fool's gold. Nice one. There's a lot of sharp implements on the beach, so you've got to watch those around the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide. But look at this bit of the beef rock. I can get into it with the end of this sharp bit of metal. Well, tomorrow is the 1st of February 2024 and uh, there's not many people on the beach anywhere, not down in the distance either. Well, it's certainly not spring yet, but over by the spring, can you spot the ammonite? Can you see a small ammonite there? That's one preserved in pyrite, the fool's gold. I've spotted a bit of the beef calcite rock down here. A lot of people mistake this beef rock. They mistake it for what is not vertebrae. People pick up this beef rock and think they found the backbones of a marine reptile and ichthyosaur. It's just fibrous calcium carbonate. Well, so many people ask me, how do I know that fossil was in the rock? In this instance, here's a Microdorosaurus birch eye nodule, and you can see a fossil in the rock preserved in calcite. As I broke the rock down, there was one preserved in calcite there anyway, in the rock near my thumb. We believe the weather is starting to clear up a little bit and the rain has eased off. So can you spot down here, the marine reptile bone, a rib, you can see there, quite a nice marine reptile rib. You can see some growth on it there, that coralline algae. There's another bit of it down here too, another piece. There's probably a few bits knocking around and I think that fits back onto that bit for prep. We've got some more keen fossil hunters coming down to this section. They're coming down along the sand. Beware of the dangerous cliffs that are liable to fall suddenly and without warning. And watch out too, as you walk along. Someone's gone in here into the mud, into the quicksand areas on the beach. So here I'm gonna skip round the quicksand on these boulders and get along using some stepping stones. Back up onto dry land, as they say. A bit of lead off the beach earlier, a bit of recycling. And I wonder if this uh, piece here is a musket ball. It's been shot if it is one. Well, the challenge is to find a few more really nice fossils before darkness falls. People ask me how to find the fossils in the rocks. What are the right rocks? And here you can see quite a round rock on the outside. Someone's already tapped that birch eye nodule. Worth a try though. The line of weakness may have been the fossil right in the middle of that rock. Well, here is a mistake some people make. You saw the piece of rib from a marine reptile that I found earlier, but here is a piece of bone, very hollow you can see. The other bit I found was jet black in cross section, much heavier than this kind of bone you see on the beach a lot maybe something the Victorians ate. Well, here's a piece of rock. If I just give it a bit of a, a tap there. It's cleaved all the way through and you can see quite a nice Arneosteros ammonite there, preserved in calcite. 
You can really see golden caps shrouded in mist down there. It's turned into a really murky evening. I've got quite a big block here. You can see that's not bad ammonite there. I'm trying to induce a crack through the rock. It's not spitting very nicely at all. So you can see only two here worth taking home and prepping. The others have fallen apart, but that's the nature of the game with these Arneoceros blocks. That little one there has come up quite nicely. Well, I'm losing light really quite quickly now, so I'm gonna head into Lyme Regis very shortly and I'll head back, but I'll show you some of the fossils here. There's just a couple of more fossils to show you in fading light. The Arneoceros there, that looks quite good quality. The one's sticking out there and then little block here of one on the surface there and the other side there, one protruding out. Well, I'm heading back into Lyme Regis. Let's show you some of the sites along the way. Well, can you spot the ammonite up ahead here? Quite a large one. Let's get up these steps now before the tide comes in and cuts me off. 